What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com. December is here, which means that there's a bunch of new Air Jordans releasing just like every month, but this is the peak of the holiday season, so there's going to be a little bit more coming this month than previous months, with the exception of November. Now, at the time of shooting this, all release dates are current. However, that can change. Jordan brand can easily push dates forward or back or even add new ones in. In the case that that does happen, there will be a link in the description below taking you to sneakerfiles.com. There will also be another link in the description below which will take you to our Air Jordan release dates page that will have drops from now through 2018. With that being said, let's get into it. Scroll down, go over some of these releases. As you guys saw, that top ad probably kept changing, new ad company. But first up, we have the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, known as Igloo, as well as the Rust Pink pair. So both are set to release during December. Now here is the bad news. Jordan Brand has confirmed that the two will be an Art Basel exclusive, which is an event in Miami. They didn't give a specific date. However, Art Basel starts on December 7th and runs till December 10th. Now, there is a possibility a wider release could happen. I really hope it does because it seems like a lot of people want both of them, actually. So, that's why these are at the top because we don't have a set release date, but the retail price will be $160. Alright, so we're going to move along. Just want to show you the rust pink pair. I I like the igloo pair, I think, a little bit more. Alright, so next up, we got the Air Jordan 32 Low, Win Like 96. This pair is dropping on December 2nd. Retail price will be $160. Expect this to be an easy pickup. Although it's not bad, don't get me wrong. I like the look, and I like the Air Jordan 32 Low overall. It's just that there's a lot of releases coming, and usually the hype is centered around the retros. So, more than likely down the road, you'll catch this at an outlet. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 6 UNC. This is a general release. They will be available in full family sizing. But in my opinion, this is one of the best releases this month. Yes, there's a handful of others that I really do like and I plan on going after, but this pair right here is a definite pickup. But they drop on December 2nd. Retail price will be $190. And here's another pair, High Phil Jordan brand really dropped the ball. I know I've said this many a times, and a lot of people agree. This is a GS exclusive, and I do believe they'll be available in extended grade school sizing up to a 9.5Y. And this is the Air Jordan 13 Italy Blue. Comes in white, Italy Blue, Wolf Gray, and Black. Just a clean and very simple color combination. Also dropping on December 2nd, and the retail price for this pair is 140 Alright, so when I posted images in the news video of this shoe, some people liked it, some people disliked it. Either way, they're coming. This is the Air Jordan 9 Boot NRG Olive. So the color combination resembles that of the original Olive release. However, this has more of a winterized takeover. It features a thicker leather as well as suede. We have D-ring eyelets and a rugged outsole. Drop in December 6th, retail price will be $190. One thing I want to note on this pair, I do not have 100% confirmation on this, but I do believe they will be limited. And since they're going to be limited, more than likely they're going to sell out. But let's move on to the next one. Here is the Air Jordan 11 Wind Like 96. Yesterday, I posted a poll. YouTube unveiled this new thing where you can like interact with subscribers. And this pair got the number one spot for best Air Jordan release for December. And when I last checked, it was like a landslide. It had over 50% of the votes. Dropping December 9th, retail price will be 220. These will also be available in full family sizing and they are a general release. Now the thing is with Air Jordan 11s, usually they are pretty hard to obtain. However, the Midnight Navy pair, it seemed like even though with all the rumors going around that a lot of pairs were destroyed or they had manufacturing errors, that pair was actually easy to obtain. So I feel like these are going to be easy. They're not going to go on sale, but if you want them, you shouldn't have an issue grabbing them. And hopefully I'll be able to do a review on them. I'm not 100% sure yet. All right, so now we have the Air Jordan 5 Premium Bordeaux. They dropped December 14th. Retail price is 400 Now, just the other day, I had my first Premium Air Jordan 5 in hand, and I was checking them out, and I'll be honest, the materials, they're really nice, really well-constructed, but that $400 price tag, that's a big no. Now, I don't know if these are limited or not. More than likely, they're... 
I wouldn't say they're going to be a GR, but they won't be on the limited side, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. And although the color is really clean, I feel that these will eventually go on sale as well. Next up, for anybody that golfs out there, Jordan Brand is releasing the Air Jordan 1 Golf Premium in predominant black. Now, the cool thing about this shoe, the more you wear it, the leather actually transforms something like the Air Jordan 12 wings. They also feature a waterproof upper. The retail price is 200 Now, I know that's a lot for an Air Jordan 1, but this is a golf shoe, so totally different. I don't play golf, so this is kind of out of my realm as far as what golf shoes go for. But let's move along, and we have the Air Jordan 6 Like Mike, a.k.a. Gatorade, a.k.a. Gatorade Orange Carmine Blocking, whatever you want to call them. This pair is expected to be a general release. I don't have 100% confirmation as of yet, but they do drop on December 16th. Retail price will be $190. I'm definitely more of a fan of the green pair. However, this pair has grown on me a lot, and I think it's just because of the overall Gatorade pack the story it tells. But... Let's move along. So next up, the Air Jordan 32 low, like Mike. December 16th is the date. Retail price is 185. Usually the Air Jordan 32 low will retail at 160, but there's a $25 price increase, and I believe that is due to the Gatorade branding and things like that having to pay royalties. But I don't get why the Air Jordan 6, like Mike, retails at 190. But then again, the rest of the Gatorade collection has a price hike as well. A lot of people are waiting for this pair, including myself, the Air Jordan 13 Altitude. This is actually the third time this pair is releasing. I believe they first released in 2005. I'm not 100% sure on that. It could be 2004. I believe it's 2005. And when they dropped in, they featured all leather like the pair shown. In 2010, we had another release. That pair featured mesh. I believe it was 2010. Now in 2017, we have just like the original release, although not an original colorway. Now these drop on December 21st, retail price will be $190. I don't have confirmation on this yet, but I do believe this will be a general release. Now it's time for the interesting releases. So first up we have the Air Jordan 1 Gatorade Grape. They feature a Rush Violet Takeover. They drop on December 26th. Retail price is $175. Now each pair is going to come with a Like Mike box. They'll also come with three sets of laces and a Jordan brand Gatorade towel. So what I'm hearing is that this pair will actually be a quick strike release. So it will be on the limited side. Jordan Brand is making it somewhat difficult to track down each pair in the Air Jordan 1 Gatorade pack. All right, so next up we have the Cyber release. So it features Cyber. And if you don't know, each pair is actually inspired by original Gatorade flavors from the 90s. I did some digging and Gatorade actually only had two original flavors which dated back to like the 50s or the 60s, something like that. But once again, it'll come with the same style packaging, an extra towel, and I believe this is the second one that's expected to be a quick strike. Now, this is a rumor, so we don't have 100% confirmation on this, but that's what's going around. December 26th, if I haven't mentioned yet, retail price will be 175 So let's move along, and next up, we got the Blue Lagoon pair. Also dropping December 26th, the retail price will be 175 What I have heard is this pair is going to be a GR. Again, not confirmed, but that's what's going around, so I wanted to keep you guys in the know. Obviously, when I find more information, I definitely will make sure to include that in the news videos. Next up, we have the Orange Pill pair, and as you can see, it features orange throughout. Drop in December 26th, retail price will be 175 and this pair is rumored to be a GR, but again, we'll have to wait and see. Last but not least is a pair I cannot wait for, and this is the Air Jordan 6 Gatorade, known as Green Suede. And when I originally leaked the news that Jordan Brand would be releasing the Air Jordan 6 Gatorade, and this was way back when, this was the colorway I was initially told of. Now, the release date isn't set, but they're expected to release on December 30th. I've also heard that they're going to release on December 26th. December 26th, I believe, is a Tuesday, which is somewhat random. However, Jordan Brand did release their wheat collection during the week, and I've been noticing they somewhat like to break the releases up, so it's very possible that the 30th will stand. 
Resale price will be $225. So for the Jordan 6, that's a $35 price increase. And I'm hearing that these are going to be a quick strike. Not confirmed, but more than likely that will be the case. So getting your hands on this pair won't be easy. But like I mentioned prior to this, I'll make sure to let you guys know in the news videos and on sneakerfiles.com. And that does it for all of December 2017 Air Jordan releases as of now. Like I mentioned, it's possible a new release gets added in. A date gets pushed around in the case that that does there will be a link in the description below taking you to sneakerfiles.com where it will be updated what i'm feeling for the month man there's so many pairs but it would be the air jordan 1 rust pink and igloo definitely want those the air jordan 11 win like 96 you know at first i really wanted them but I don't know it kind of died out for me like I won't be mad if I don't go after them and since there's a bunch of releases this month I probably just wait on them the Air Jordan 13 Altitude is another pair both Gatorade Air Jordan 6s as well as the entire Air Jordan 1 Gatorade pack I definitely want all of those it won't work out that way but I do want them and that does it for me leave a comment below and let me know for the month of December what you plan on picking up thanks for watching stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.